What's up, Brian Tong here, and Apple just released the first beta of iOS 16.4, so this video is about all the big stuff that is new in the new iOS, and this is the beta, so as always, you know, installed at your own risk. I just do it on a previously owned iPhone. Now, there is a lot to love, and really the first thing that is cosmetic, but everyone loves them, is new emojis! Oh yeah, look at all of them right here. You have a jellyfish, you got the shaking face, which I guess I'd use if I'm super confused. Like, I'm not sure. Actually, it would be a good time to use it right now. We've got hearts in new colors. That is so important. And there's maracas and the ginger and the hyacinth. Uh, did you know that hyacinth is a bulbous plant of the lily family with strap-like leaves and a compact spike of bell-shaped fragrant flowers? Well, that's why we all needed the hyacinth Whoa. emoji. Extremely crucial. And I don't even know if I pronounce it properly. Okay, so those are just some of them, but you know, you know I love my emojis! And I could yell it longer. But let's get to the new features that matter, really. Websites that are added to the home screen on an iPhone or iPad as a web app can now send web push notifications in iOS and iPadOS 16.4. Now, Apple first mentioned it at WWDC last year, and it allows web apps to behave more like regularly installed apps. So you can give the web app permission to control notifications for it like you do with regular apps. And they can have badges appear on them just like regular apps like my mail one here that currently says I have 23,506 unread emails. Hey, don't judge, right? How many do you have? I'd like to see that. So uh, put it in the comments and I only ask because I wanna know that I'm not the only one with this disgusting problem. And speaking of problems, you know, I actually got this uh, huge rash on my inner thigh down here. It, it just won't go away. The newest HomeKit architecture was recently pulled from iOS 16.2 because of a lot of bugs. It even removed some of my basic smart lights from rooms for me, so that was annoying. But iOS 16.4, iPadOS, and macOS Ventura 13.3 reintroduce it. You'll find it in the software update of the Home app. And the expectation is to get really improved reliability and connectivity and efficiency between smart home devices. Now the podcast app gets some new updates and what a perfect time to mention my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast that you can check out if you haven't already. It's good, like 4.9 stars reviewed good, really good. Now there's a channels menu option that lets a creator or a brand list all of their podcasts in one place. And an Up Next option lets you resume episodes or start save ones. Now you also have access to Up Next in the podcast app of CarPlay, and you can also find new podcasts in a browse section. And speaking of CarPlay, the new next-gen CarPlay that Apple showed off at WWDC last year with support for multiple displays that looks so freaking juicy. Well, 14 automakers are committed to it, and it will roll out sometime in late 2023. That's this year. So some of those automakers include Acura, Audi, Ford, Mercedes-Benz, Nissan, Porsche, Volvo, and others. Now, Apple Music has a more prominent button to access your profile in the app when you want to change or customize it. If you're ever looking for an easy place to find your Apple Care covered devices, in the settings app, there's an updated coverage section where you can see all of your warranty information for your iPhone and connected devices like Apple Watch and AirPods. Emergency SOS via satellite now tells a user when the next satellite will be passing by in more detail, just giving you specific hour and minute timelines. And then if you're the type of person who has different focus modes and you like to customize them, well, you can now add an always on display filter that can be enabled or turned off for your focus mode. Now you won't be able to see it yet, but iOS 16.4 also has set up the option for a savings account for Apple Card users that was announced back in October of last year. Code in the new beta references routing and account numbers and more. So that means Apple will be flipping on the switch for this to happen in the new future and allow you to do things like transfer your Apple Card balance to your savings account to start earning interest on it, or you can have it done automatically. Now it is not yet available, but it looks like it's happening soon. Now iOS 16.4, iPadOS 16.4, and macOS Ventura 13.3. These are expected to release sometime this spring, so expect to see these changes and more in the future. And if you're signed up for Apple's developer program, you're able to turn on developer betas in the software section of the settings app. This is gonna be an option for public beta testers, and it won't require you to install a developer profile from Apple to run the betas on your phone, so it's gonna make this whole process a lot easier. Okay, everybody, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like what you see, you know what the drill is. Give me that thumbs up, subs up, and hit that notification bell. Ding 
to get all my latest videos when they drop. And if you want more of that Apple goodness, you can check out my weekly Apple Bits XL audio podcast to get the latest deep dive with all these stories and new ones every week with special guests. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Take care, and I will see you on the next video. Peace and love. <laughs>